head unit for AAA is a new app. Hold on, don't take the over the shoulder because I have to enter a password here. Do, 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 do. Uh, and what does it do? Well, they call head it head unit for AA because Google Play rules dictate that they cannot actually put Android Auto in there. Basically what it does, if you take my over the shoulder shot here, it allows me to turn a supported tablet, in this case the Nexus 7 2013 edition, into an Android Auto receiver. This is what you've been waiting for. <clears throat> so this, this is, is interesting. Awesome. So let's let's yeah. see if we can replicate this. Um, it's I discovered it through XDA, and there's an app in the Play Store called Head Unit for AAA. So the process. Hey. What is the, uh, sorry, <laughs> Head Unit for all about Android. I know, that's that's what, right. For a moment, so easy to for do. For a moment, I thought someone made the app because Somebody you were complaining <laughs> about it, and so it was like Head Unit for AAA. Like <laughs> we asked, and Somebody you delivered. Somebody needs to have like a picture of your head on the icon. For so I, I thought I thought oh. I thought the AAA community was stepping up for you, Jason. Yes, that, yeah, yes. Well, so. they should have. Dang yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. you plug uh, it in, and then okay. What? So you want Head Unit installed on the tablet which it is, there's the icon. Uh, Android Auto installed on your phone. Make sure your phone has USB debugging active, which I do. I'm gonna unplug this for a second. Uh, you plug the USB OTG cable into the tablet or whatever, you know, adapter. I really hope this works. I was able to get it to work one time in like 10 tries before the oh, show. I wouldn't um, have said that out loud. <laughs> Well, no, well, I'm not reviewing this in the arena. It's cool. <laughs> Believe me, I thought about it, but I was like, no, this is sure to fail. Uh, you plug your normal USB cable uh, into the phone. Go ahead and plug this into the OTG connector. Make sure it's facing the right way. Hopefully it is. <clears throat> now, hopefully, something Whoa. will happen, okay? So that happened. Head this is the actual oh. unit, This is or this is the actual app, head unit. Um, sometimes I got to do this and then after a while it finally kicked in <laughs> into the thing. So no, no, no doubt about it. This is a total hack at this point. Do you think it has something to do with the fact that the, your OTG adapters are like a little janky and disconnects me partially? No, because I have another OTG adapter. And no go. <clears throat> and, uh, it worked sometimes as well and not all the time. So let's try this again. I really want it to work because it was kind of cool. Suddenly I had Android auto on my phone. Or on my tablet. Come on, do it. <gasps> there you go. Yep. Oh, there you oh, go. Something's happening. Yep. Something's happening. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's that. Boom. Straight up, Android Auto. Let's get it off that screen. Uh, but there you go. I'm not going to navigate around the interface very much because it's tied into my account, so it shows a lot of my things in it. But that's so cool. But there that you is go. Awesome. And so then on your phone now, it just says Android Auto and you can't use your phone, right? Yep. Yeah. So. It says Android Auto. What if I texted you? Uh, let's try know. it. Let's try right. it. And so basically, you can remote control your Android phone just like you would on an Android Auto head unit by using the tablet as a head unit. Yes, which is I something mean, that Google I'm doesn't allow you to do. I know. I'm sitting the obvious. Oh, part. okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just reinforcing yes, the point. That is exactly true. Uh, hey, there you go. New message Hangouts. So Ron get it Richards. to read it. Get it to read out aloud because that's one of the functionalities, uh, right? Uh, uh, um, okay. Where'd it go? <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Try it again. Do it again. Does it read it out loud automatically? I, I don't know. I think you might have to tap on it. Uh, oh, oh. Tap on it. Here's the message. Hey, Jason. Nice car. Try it again. You can press the voice button and say reply. Oh. Press the voice button and reply. Where's that? That's the voice button. R reply to Ron. If you just said something, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> you didn't work. Try you again. promised Try so again. much. Oh. Testing, testing, one, two, three. It's no, I don't think it's passing I through. Yeah. So, okay. That's odd. Think of it this way. Proof of concept. But you know <laughs> what? This is good because if you have an older car, yeah. you know. No, a lot of people turn their And these old, old tablets, tablets are like just units. sitting in freaking drawers. Jobs, they, I know, it's great. Work. So, there you go. The app is called Head Unit for AA. It does not require a rooted device. It kind of seems like it should. You just <laughs> have to make sure that your developer options are active uh, in your settings. There mm -hmm. are plenty of like on the title, it's Head Unit for AA Experimental. Yeah, and it, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's totally experimental. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm, it is. There is a fee. There is a cost for it. It's six dollars seventy nine cents. So it's a it's a costly app. But I think what you're doing is you know you're, you're maybe telling I'll the developer try yes, it. keep going, maybe, keep going. Maybe I'll try it for my uh, camper oh, van. That didn't work. Whoops. Oh, yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. Actually, it's eight dollars and seventy nine cents. Oh. Eight dollars and seventy nine cents. Okay, so Ouch. that's pretty expensive. But you know, whatever.
it's experimental. Yeah, that's very oh, cool. come on. It's the price of two lattes. Come on. Yeah. That's neat. That's super neat. If I had a car, I, I would. It's I'm, cheaper than a, what is it, the, uh, the entry-level yeah, head yeah. units, like $600? Cheaper than buying a Hyundai, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Cheaper than buying a Pioneer, yeah, entry-level yeah. head head unit for yeah. $700. Um, yeah, so this is the starting point. We'll see where it leads to, but that's interesting. Cool. I like it.